Group Heating Element Removal The group heating element is fixed with a 2mm hex screw. Its removal takes place by loosening the screw and then pulling it out with slight pressure from below. The element is completely released by unscrewing the two 2mm screws placed behind the group and disconnecting the wires from the connector using a pin extractor. Endless screw, guides, brew chamber and internal spiral bushing removal. In order to remove the endless screw, it is necessary to disassemble the motor and then unscrew the three 2.5mm screws that are in the upper part of the group. This way, it will be possible to extract the endless screw by unscrewing it. The two guides instead can be removed by unscrewing the two 3mm screws at the top of the group and then extracting them from the lower part by slightly pressing with the hand. By unscrewing a 4mm hex screw, it is possible to remove the upper piston. The protection shield is then removed by unscrewing the two 2.5mm screws and removing the protection shield from the brew chamber. To remove the internal spiral bushing, unscrew the four hex 2.5mm screws. Regular maintenance. We advise you to perform regular maintenance on the group every 15,000 brewing cycles. You can proceed as follows. Switch the machine off, push the up and down arrow keys and switch the machine on through the master switch placed at the back. The wording manual movement will appear on the display. Open the door and remove the drip tray. using the down arrow key. Move the chamber downwards and clean the upper part of the guides. By pressing the up arrow key, you can clean the lower side of the guides. Do not use any kind of lubricant. To change the upper piston gasket, the technician will have to take the decaffeinated chute out. Unscrew the upper piston with a 4mm hex wrench. Take the gasket off using a flat screwdriver and by using a 2.5mm hex wrench screwdriver, remove the small shower. Clean all the parts, reassemble, put in the new gasket and by using a flat screwdriver make sure it is perfectly placed. The upper piston is reassembled without over tightening the screw at this time. You will then push the key, up arrow key, to move the chamber upwards and line the piston up. Then go on and tighten the screw completely. To change the lower gasket, take the brewing tube off by pressing the metallic ring of the joint with two fingers and pulling it towards you. Push the down arrow key 
to make the chamber go down completely. Take the lower C-clip off. Place the chamber upwards by pressing the up arrow key and extract the complete spring assembly and the upper C-clip. With a 21mm wrench, loosen the nut where the gasket is kept. Remove the old gasket. Take the piston out of the chamber. Then disassemble the small shower, removing the 2.5mm Allen head screws. Clean and reassemble everything. When replacing the gasket, wrap the threads of the nut with Teflon tape and lubricate the gasket by using a drop of high temperature, food grade grease. Reposition both the gasket and nut and rescrew everything. The technician must make sure that the piston can freely move upwards and downwards. Reposition both the upper C-clip and the complete spring assembly. Then move the chamber downwards and reposition the lower C-clip. Reassemble the brewing tube to the joint by simply pushing it inside. To exit the manual movement, switch the machine off and then back on through the master switch.